Thanks for joining us in Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2019. My next guest is Jim Stolzer. He's the initiator of the National AI Course. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. So the National AI Course is obviously about educating people about the power of AI, isn't mm. it? So what can you tell us about it? The power of AI, it's, it's, it's mostly telling them the true story about AI. Right, give them the facts because we all know there's a lot of hype and also some people are very scared about AI. Let's just talk about what it is and what it's not. That was the basic premise of the, uh, of the AI course. So we asked professors in video interviews like this, uh, their thoughts on AI and machine learning and how that could, re could relate to ordinary people who are interacting with AI on a daily basis. And it works like a course, doesn't it? It's an online course in the sense that it's available from an app. Right, yeah, this is 2019, so online learning, it's an app, you can download the entire course for iOS or Android, and then basically you, you have uh, me in your pocket, speaking to all these professors and these experts, explaining to you what you should know about AI, how it impacts your life, what questions you should ask to big companies or perhaps your government, and then after seven or eight hours, you get a diploma, and people even upload it to LinkedIn, so that's a lot of fun. And it's pretty successful, isn't it? It's grown quite quickly recently, hasn't it? It's, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we have a lot of uh, followers, a lot of fans. It actually started in Finland. Finland was the first country to offer a free online AI course, uh, University of Helsinki. Uh, we got in touch with them, so we, we kept the overall structure, but we added video, animations, uh, quizzes, and now more than 10,000 people already did the course. And uh, last month, uh, the 10,000th uh, student got her diploma from His Royal Highness Prince Constantine of the Netherlands. So that's, uh, that's all good. A real highlight, I bet. Yeah. Um, so it's available in Dutch at the moment. Do you have plans to deploy it globally? Well, th these plans are there, obviously. Uh, we have now demand also from Belgium and South Africa, which is what is a big step because they speak Dutch. Uh, Germany also, and hopefully, because uh, Deloitte is one of our sponsors, we can branch out to other uh, parts of the world with their support as well, and the local experts. And why is it so important to educate people about AI, and why now? Because we feel mm. that there's a sense of urgency at the moment. Right, yeah. Well, uh, if you read the news, then usually when we talk about AI and the concerns, it's, it's about regulation, right? It's, uh, it's mid-term, long-term, trying to find laws and uh, lobbyists get really excited, but that is something that is like a paper reality. It's very slow and it's very hidden. While ordinary peoples are dealing with AI systems every day, all day, so we need to act now. So I think the best way to do so is to uh, inform them, teach them, right? We need well-informed citizens, uh, critical consumers to hold our governments and big companies to the highest ethical standards. Not because they are legally bound to do so, but because, uh, but because their customers actually expect them to. Absolutely. And it's also important because we need to make sure that AI is inclusive, that it's a tool for inclusion and not exclusion. Right. That is, that is very true. And this is why I'm so proud of the National AI course. If you look at the people who are actually taking the course, uh, the youngest was a girl, Isabel, she's 10 years old. The eldest was uh, a gentleman of 81 years old. So all across the board, everyone is interested in this topic and actually does the course voluntarily. And I think that is the best way to make sure that the future with AI is more inclusive and more fair uh, if we involve a lot of people, not just the big tech companies or the people who are here in Geneva. So let's talk about your presence here, actually, because it's the right. first time you attend the AI for Good Global Summit, isn't yeah. it? How do you find it so far? It's very cool to be among like-minded people. I mean, the, the, you don't have to explain to people why you're here. So what I'm hoping is to, to bring some inspiration around the National AI course and see if perhaps every nation state, every country, now feels the need to also offer a free online AI course to its citizens, no matter what language, no matter what country, as long as everyone knows data is being used, this is how it's being used, and these are the questions that I have to ask when I'm taking part in such a system. Okay, Jim, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me.